Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful flower colorful ring. It's made only out of seed beads, you could use 11 ounce or 10 ounce, whatever you have and I'm showing it really easy step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you are going to be able to make it. If you have any questions you could always ask me in the comments, I'll answer to all of your questions there and uh, you really help me by sharing and liking my content. If you still haven't subscribed, please do and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos and fresh beading ideas. You could also check my merch store and there you will find max hoodies, pillows, t-shirts, phone covers and so many other stuffs that you could buy as a present for your beading friends or for yourself and you really support my channel by, by doing this. You will find link there in description to my store and there at the eye icon. You could also share your beading works on my Facebook page that I posted below. I will be so happy to see your creations. Now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so for this video what I'm going to use are three colors of 11 ounce seed beads and I'm also using scissors and size 10 beading needle and monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters and you could use other beading thread of your choice and I squeeze my monofilament to go through size 10 beading needle here but if you use regular beading thread they are made flat and they easily go through size 10 beading needle so now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'm going to start okay and I will take 12 yellow beads Okay, I have my 12 and I'm going to slide them down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I will make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice through this loop and then pulling. Okay, I will pull tight. Then I will go through some beads in this direction. Okay, now I will take three green beads, okay, here they are on my needle, and I'm going back in circle through this yellow bead, just like that, okay, now this is what I have, okay, and here I will go through my next yellow bead as well, okay, now this is what I have. And here I'm going to take two red beads. Okay, and I will go through this green one and through this yellow. Back in circle again. Then I will go through the following bead. Now I will take one green and one red, so this is what I have, and I'm going again through this uh, red one and through the following two yellows, just to save time I'm going through two yellows this time. Okay, and here I need two green beads, and I'm going through this green and the following two yellows okay then two red beads and go through the green and through the two yellows then a green and a red and I'm going through these two yellows okay two greens here they are through the green and through the yellows okay 
two reds and through the green through the following two yellows and then a green and a red then two green beads and I'm going here through this green and through the following two yellows and I'm pulling okay just like that then two red ones okay going to the green And through this yellow here okay now this is what I have and pay attention in my last step I will add only one bead so I'm going to the following yellow then I'm going to this green one and I'm not adding a green because this green is already there in this step I was adding a green and a red but here I will add only red and go through one green okay then I'm going down here through this red one and through the yellow one and now I'm going back again through this green one and I'm going here at the top through the green bead here okay and now I will add only yellow beads in this row, okay? One yellow, go through here. One yellow, go through the following. One more yellow, go here through the following. One more yellow. And I will continue this until the end of this row and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay and this is my last bit from this row so now I'm going through this last green one and what I want to do here is take three yellow beads and go back in circle through this green one Okay, then through this yellow and through this red one, okay. And I need one red bead and two yellows. And I'm going back through this red one. Okay. Then I'm exiting out of my next red bead. And I need two yellows and one red and I'm going to this red one through the following yellow and through the following green and I need three yellows and through the green And through the following red, then one red and two yellows, go back through this red one and through the following yellow and pull. Then again I'm going through the red one. Okay, and here I need two yellows and one red. And I'm going through this red one, okay, like that. And my goal is to exit here at the green. And here I need three yellows. Like that. 
going to the red and again one red two yellows and through the next red and here two yellows one red just the opposite Link. three yellows then through the red then one red and two yellows Then through the last red one, two yellows, one red. Here it is. Okay, and now this is what I have. Now I'm going through all of those yellows. And I'm exiting here with the red one and here I need to add three yellows okay and I'm going here like that then I will go through all of those yellows here in this direction and adding three more and I will continue this two more times and I'll be back to show you what's coming up next okay and here I added my last three beads and I'm going to go through all those beads and exit here Okay, and now I'm here and I need five seed beads. Okay, I have my five here and I'm going back in circle through this yellow bead. Then I will go around through all of my beads. Reinforcing my work. And from here on, I will start my ring band, okay? Now, as I'm exiting from this yellow bead, I will take one green bead, just one, and I will go through the opposite bead here and in the same direction where my thread is originally pointing to, okay? And I'm going to pull fix it and pull now this is what I have and I will go through my beads one more time and my goal is to exit here through this yellow bead okay then I need five more yellows okay I have my five here and I will go back in circle through this yellow okay and I'm going through all of my beads okay then I need one more green bead just like that and I'm going through the opposite yellow okay then through all of those yellow beads
and here is my second flower and I'm going through this yellow bead here and I will continue doing this and when I have a ring band long enough to wrap it around my finger I'll be back to show you how to attach it to the other end of your ring okay guys and when I continue beading the same way this is what I have and now I will connect my ring band to the other part here so I'm exiting out of this yellow bead and I need two yellows I have them on my needle and I will go through this needle yellow one here okay now this is what I have and I need two more yellows here they are and I'm going through this yellow one in this direction okay then I will go around through all of my beads going around just like that then I need one red bead here and I'm going to the opposite yellow in the same direction where my thread is pointing to okay and this is what I have Okay. Then I'm going through some beads in this direction. I will make a loop here and I will go once and I will go second time through this loop I've made and I'm pulling. Okay. And I might want to repeat this several more times and when I'm ready I will cut my thread. Okay guys and when I cut my thread this is what I have. My ring is ready. Okay. So if you like it and you want to see more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos. You could also check my new merch store and there you will find t-shirts, mugs, pillows, hoodies, phone covers and so many other stuff that you might like to buy for present for your bidding friends or for yourself. And if you make beautiful jewelry, you might also share them on my Facebook page that I posted below. I will be so happy to see your creations. Tell me in the comments what you think of this ring. Do you like it? And do you want me to make more colorful designs? Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.